The South African Navy provides maritime security to the country's coast, which is the third longest coastline in Africa. It says budget cuts are making the country vulnerable to security threats, which include the smuggling of goods and human trafficking. Due to the underfunding of the Navy over the years, we can only watch helplessly as these crooks come into our waters and steal what belongs to us. This situation is causing me sleepless nights and, I, and it should do the same to you. Despite the budgetary constraints, the South African Navy Festival is back after seven years of absence. Festival activities include the tag rides, anti-piracy displays, and other static displays. Lobese defended the presence of a Russian vessel at the festival. We are mindful of the conflict that is taking place in the Russian Federation, and thus having the United Nations not imposed any sanctions to the Russian Federation and Russia being a member of BRICS and South Africa itself having not imposed any sanctions against, uh, against Russia, we don't see any reason why we cannot continue building the bridges of cooperation and friendship with the Russian uh, 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 Federation. The Navy says the budget cuts have severely affected its intelligence gathering. These ships, including the Russian 772, are opened for the public to view during the three days of the festival. Lula Mamaya, SAPC News, Simonstown.